Lemon cupcakes. Ah, it's spring. This is Sugarless Christmas, your sugar-free destination of YouTube. Enjoy me. I'm guilt-free. Indulge. Yes. Now I thought lemon and spring went hand in hand. I pictured a pair of ladies outside, sitting next to a picnic table. Sundresses, the little sun hats that women wear, the wind blowing their hair to the left. A beautiful sunny day. And one reaches down, and there's a wet glass of ice cold lemon iced tea. Lemon cookies. A nice lemon drink, if you know what I'm saying. Lemon mojitos. And now in this scenario, my lemon cupcakes with a peach whipped frosting. That's right, didn't see that coming, right? I know, I didn't, didn't even put it in the title. I wanted to surprise you guys. That's right, that's what I did. Sounds extra refreshing, right? Let me tell you. It was perfect. That flat stomach you've been busting your behind to get all year, you can keep it. It's sugar free, gluten free, and absolutely delicious. Not a heavy bone in this recipe. So let's get to it. Before I start full recipe details over at sugarlesscrystals.com, I will put a link in the description box below for you guys. We're gonna separate our wet from our dry. For our dry, we have coconut flour, baking powder, baking soda and salt, and our powdered sweetener. That simple. Yes, I know. Now, all our wet ingredients need to be brought to room temperature. If not, the second you add that coconut oil, it's gonna harden and it's gonna lump up and it's gonna get all crackly and stuff. Basically, it's gonna get cold again. You don't want that. Eggs, unsweetened almond milk, lemon extract, lemon juice, liquid stevia, or a liquid sweetener of your choice. And lastly, apple cider vinegar. Now mix your dry and your wet together. These silicone muffin cups are godsend. Like I swear, they pop right out without an issue. I think I got those from Bed Bath & Beyond, but I know they're on Amazon. They work so well, no need to add anything, put the batter straight in. Now if you want to kick it up a notch, you can add some lemon zest to your mixture. I'm not opposed to that at all. Now I'm sticking these in the oven for about 20, to 25 minutes at 300 degrees. At about 15 minutes, start checking for doneness. All ovens seem to vary, so you don't want to overcook these and dry them out. To do that, simply take a toothpick, stick it in. If it comes out clean, it's done. Don't just go off a of look, especially when you're dealing with, especially when you're dealing with these non-flour things. If you see a couple crumbs, that's fine. While those are cooking, let's make this super light whip frosting. I'm using peach extract to keep the carbs low. Even though fruit is a natural sugar, it's still, they're still rather high in carbs. Now for anybody, I was trying to find some peach juice. I don't know what the deal is, but apparently they don't sell peach juice anywhere. They sell white grape and peach, but every other fruit has its own juice. Pineapple, orange, apple, grape, but no peach juice. Are they not good? It's, I, mean, I, I thought I liked peach. I'm rambling. I'm rambling. But if carbs don't matter, take some chopped peaches and mix them up in the whipped cream. I bet that will be tasty. All right, so we got heavy cream, peach extract, cream of tartar, and powdered sweetener. I'm using Swerve. But if you only have granules, you can powder your own. I use this little thing here, man. I didn't pay hardly anything for it. Maybe like $10, if that much. I got the cheapest one I could find. But any granules, if you put it in there, it'll make it into the powder form for you. Now mix everything up until it forms into the frosting. You will know when it gets to that point because it'll just, it'll be frosting then, you know? And a warning, make sure your cupcakes are completely cool before adding the frosting or it will melt it. I promise you that. Okay? They say the proper way to eat a cupcake is to split it in half. So that's what I'm gonna do when I'm gonna put the little frosting on the inside of this. Look at that texture, that's, that is, that's pretty good. Yeah. The texture's a little spongy. Which is good because it's still moist. That whipped cream peach frosting is extra light with a hint of peach. It's not too strong. Now, if you have it by yourself, the peach flavor may be a little bit overwhelming because it's highly concentrated in that little bottle. I've never really been a big lemon fan, but I like those. The extra light, like I said, they're spongy. Then you have the light whipped cream frosting. Ah, a nice spring afternoon snack. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button. We do posts every Wednesday and Thursday. And you, if you look to the left, you can see my latest video over there. And one just for you. I am Darius. This is Sugarless Crystal Chef, sugar-free destination of YouTube. And I'm not a chef. I'm an entertainer. Bye.